¿Qué pasa, amigos? Beautiful day on the homestead. It's a little bit overcast, but it's also very cool today. Um, we've had a couple of hot days over the last week, and it's nice to uh, finally get out and not sweat just walking across the yard. So I think we had uh, a day of 85 maybe last Saturday. Um, got out and mowed in that, and it, uh, it wasn't a whole lot of fun, but uh, Got it all done, looks beautiful, and uh, got a little bit of work that we need to do today. I decided to come over and do something I haven't done in a while, and uh, I'm gonna work on the chicken coop. And I'm actually gonna be by myself today. Emma's over in the house, tomorrow's Mother's Day. I'm gonna let her take it easy, and uh, I'm gonna try and get as much done on the chicken coop as I can, and uh, hopefully make her happy for tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm gonna get on that. And if you'd like to come along and join me, please do so. Love to have you. My name is Matt Walker, and this is Sonny's Place. <laughs> so, uh, last time we worked on our chicken coop together, um, one, of our, uh, one of our commenters in the comments section of the video was uh, joshing us a little bit because we were using a hand hammer. And so, uh, <laughs> It bothered me enough that I went ahead and, and went out and got a, uh, a porter cable uh, nail gun. So we're going to open this thing up and put it to the test today. I think maybe you're supposed to be on the outside of the uh, cross piece. I gotta think about this for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. It's actually the next day. Um, as you probably noticed yesterday, I, I was getting a little bit flustered um, trying to get all of the measurements and, and trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to work a window into a, um, a wall that also had the nesting box on the bottom and so I just was having a really hard time getting that figured out so I stepped away did a little bit of a uh, little bit more thinking and actually did a little bit of research on on what a window is actually supposed to look like and I think I'm much closer to uh, something that's going to be workable and and stable and support the weight of the uh, of the chicken coop itself. But before I get started, uh, today is Mother's Day. Um, it's Sunday, May the 10th. And so it's uh, it's Mother's Day today, so I wanted to, to uh, throw a big shout out to all the mothers out there and uh, let you know how much we appreciate you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate my own wife, the mother of my children. She's just fantastic. She had an unfortunate Mother's Day present from one of the dogs today, and uh, she's going down the stairs, and stupid wiener dog, who might end up dead soon, uh, ran out in front of her and tripped her, and she twisted her knee pretty badly. So I'm hoping it's not terrible, because I don't want to deal with the stupid chickens. I hate chickens, hate messing with them, but I'll do it for my wife because I love her. But hopefully she's, uh, she's all right. She'll be able to get back in the saddle pretty quickly. I also wanted to tell my own mother happy mother's day um, and uh, if it wasn't for my mom I wouldn't be here that's actually not a joke um, some people say that is a joke but uh, for me it's actually very very true my mom donated my first kidney uh, when I had my first kidney transplant and so uh, she actually gave me life twice so she let me go from a survivor to a thriver and as you can see you know we have a wonderful beautiful homestead I'm able to get out and work and and enjoy life to the fullest and 
And so if it wasn't for my mom, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I appreciate you very much, Mom. I love you. And uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for everything. I really do appreciate it. Well, we're going to get back into this, uh, this chicken coop, and I want to show you what I've done so far. Here we are. This is, uh, everything's on the floor right now. Uh, this is the, um, the wall, the uh, wall with the nesting boxes and window from, uh, from what my wife tells me. I don't know this from experience or from education, <laughs> but um, apparently you do not want the sunlight flowing in directly to the, uh, the nesting boxes. And so we want to put a window in on the same wall as the nesting boxes so that the light is actually cast on the opposite wall. This is where we are. As you can see, we have, we have four separate nesting boxes that we have framed out and uh, we have the window on top of it. Where I was having a lot of trouble was trying to figure out how to do nesting boxes and, and a window in the same wall when actually what I was needing to do was create two walls and then just put them on top of each other inside of a frame. Once I made that mental shift and started thinking about it that way, it made everything go a lot easier. And so what I've done, I've made all the cuts. As you can see, none of these are actually nailed in. So I made all the cuts and I laid it all out. Um, and so now I'm just going to uh, put everything together and then try and slap this wall up onto the chicken coop. The wall is up. Um, it's not quite in yet. I don't know if you remember uh, last time I worked on the coop. Um, I had mentioned that uh, the uh, the walls, the the side walls, were were kind of doing doing this. They're a little uh, duck footed, and so I'm going to get a uh, a come along strap or a, a tie down strap, whatever you want to call it, and um, I'm going to pull the walls all in together, and then. I hope I have long enough screws um, because like I said I built two walls inside of a frame and so everything is um, uh, three inches thick instead of uh, an inch and a half thick and so screwing it into the walls is going to be a little bit more difficult I'm going to need some really long screws I'm not sure if I have those if I do we'll go ahead and get it done if I don't then um, I'll have to go pick some up and, and we'll have to finish this at another time so I'm gonna go ahead and strap everything together, get everything square, and then uh, we'll go from there.
Well, unfortunately, as I suspected, I do not have the correct or rather long enough um, screws or nails. I, I would have used either one, honestly. So yeah, this is where we are. So got the, the wall in, that's great. Um, just need to attach it, it's not a big deal. Already got some, uh, already have some ideas in mind for the actual nesting box. But we still have the roof to put on and I'd like to insulate the roof a little bit. Um, not so much to keep heat in, because the chickens do really well in the winter time, but more so to keep heat out. I don't know if you're keeping track, but we have four walls on this chicken coop now, which is really exciting. It's going to make Emma happy. So uh, again, happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. And get out there and make something. It's good for your soul. I've really enjoyed this. You'll start to see me do some, uh, some more metalworking here before too long, I hope. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to make a knife or two and uh, maybe even a, a nice chef's knife that we can give away whenever we have a, a thousand subscribers. So. Uh, if, if you haven't yet, hit the subscriber button, and um, it really does help us out quite a bit. And until next time, it is great spending time with you. This is Matt Walker from Sonny's Place. Adios. Ah!